Here's an incident that happened at O'Hare just a couple weeks ago that involved two similar sounding call signs and two international carriers. Yes, a recipe for disaster. Eva 647 Heavy O'Hare Tower, wind 250 gust 16, to your right at Echo Echo, line up and wait. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. You don't need to hear or see anything more because you probably know what's going to happen next. Now you can go watch the full replay from Vaz Aviation. They've got the full uh, audio and, and the animation, but in the end, it doesn't matter. There's a couple of things that really we can learn from this. Okay, the first thing that we should learn from this is that as a controller, I need to recognize that I've got similar sounding call signs and utilize similar sounding call sign procedure. If I'm Viva, I need to know that I'm at November 5. I need to not have expectation bias that it's me who the controller is talking to and then inadvertently take that clearance to line up and wait. Eva doesn't really play a part in here, even though it's a heavy. That's the other thing is that Viva should have known they're not a heavy, okay? So in the end, does this fall more on Viva than anything else? Probably, but the controller could have prevented this right away by hearing that ant and getting on it immediately. Now, once again, hindsight 2020, the controller did the best job they can. They ended up giving this Viva a brasher warning for a runway incursion. And that kind of sucks.